Danielle, fantastic win, second win of the season, yeah. but also on the score sheet for the yeah. first time. Um, how are you feeling after that? Yeah, buzzing. The girls are saying they've never scored five in the game, five different scorers. Um, yeah, I think you know it was a great, great performance from us. Great result. Um, everyone's just buzzing. Obviously, two goals, two clean sheets, um, and equally, I'm happy to get my Brighton goals off, up and running. It's a pretty special one. We all thought you were going to cross. I know everyone's asking if I meant, meant it. Of, yeah. of course, I meant it. The keeper's not in goal, so you know. But um, yeah, no, you know, they all go in. Um, but no, I'm just happy that one did did uh, find the back of the net. And you played your part, winning the ball back in your own half. You started and finished the move. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, like I said, I think we we played really well today. Um, we stuck to the game plan. Everyone knew their roles. Um, everyone had each other's backs. Um, it, it 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 just felt great. Like everyone is happy with how we're playing at the minute. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. Uh, two games in. Um, international break now which has come at a really bad time for us with the momentum um, but you know it's time for for the ones that are not going away just to settle and even the ones that are going away just to sort of regroup and then come back fresher for when we um, restart the league. Obviously you joined in the summer how, how have you found it so far? You seem to have settled in very quickly. Yeah besides the girls not celebrate with me when I scored um, no nah, the, the girls have welcomed me in uh, incredibly um, I think I've settled really well um, I think I'm adding to the team um, in loads of different aspects so you know I'm just excited for what what's to come from from this team um, buzzing that we're in the, the training ground now got our own section so yeah you know there's no excuses now everyone's just really putting in the work and hopefully it shows continues to show on the pitch and as someone that's played at the top level throughout their career how does how does that set up you've moved into this week how does that compare it doesn't compare to be fair um, obviously I was at Arsenal for so long we eventually moved into the training ground had our, had our own little hub but in all honesty where we are now with Brighton it's it's head and shoulders above anywhere that I've seen um, and the fact that it is specifically for us the women um, it, it's incredible I just want to see more teams support their women's teams and not just say it um, so yeah I'm, I'm really happy to involve with this this club who you know, our fallen men and the women and, and just for everyone. So I'm, I'm happy to now be involved in that. Was that a big factor in coming here? Yeah, it was to be fair. I remember the girls were saying they've waited like two, three years for it. And then I was like, oh no, they told me it's going to be ready. And I was like, yeah, it's ready now. So yeah, no, it, it, it was a massive part of it. Um, it just makes you a lot more professional. Everything's there for you now. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's no excuses. And does that give you the platform to build on and produce performances and results like the one today 100 percent. literally we need to go on a tour we need to do a proper tour it's like a cribs tour it, it's incredible um i'm not overselling it. it it is honestly top dollar um so yeah no definitely obviously all the detail we get from hope and the coaches as well that just adds to now the facilities that we're we're in